Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can display the temperature from HTU21DF relative humidity and temperature sensor on the LCD1602 or 2004 uh, LCD screen for Arduino. We're going to explain the wiring, explain the code fully, and then apply some heat on the device. We're going to display it uh, as degrees Celsius, degrees Fahrenheit, Kelvin, and the relative humidity on the same screen, whichever you prefer to use. Also to announce that I have Patreon account, and if you want to have early access to my videos and behind the scenes, you may support me via Patreon. The link to my Patreon account is below the video. You can get the code for this by clicking on the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. I have another video explaining fully this module, including data sheet and other specification. In this video, we are not going to explain this module because we uh, the video will be very lengthy. And also for the LCD, I have separate video that I've explained how to use that. We are not going to explain the module, the temperature sensor, nor the LCD. For both, I have separate video. The link will be below this video in the description. We are just going directly explaining to wiring and explaining the code and testing it. To, in order for you to successfully launch this and understand it, first make uh, follow the video and use only this one. Make sure to display the temperature on the serial monitor. Once it's done, then use only this one without the temperature sensor. Make sure you're able to display a text on the LCD. Once that is done, then you can use this code and both of these will easily work. Let me explain the wiring. If you need a wiring diagram for this, it will be available as part of my Arduino course that is available at udemy.com. You can purchase it and you can get all the library and uh, Arduino tutorial from ground up, uh, structured with all the material in one place, including all the wiring diagram for every circuit when demonstration. Uh, the link will be available below the video. Now let me explain the wiring. For this one, we have four wires. The four wires have, have been arranged uh, like this. The, from the left, this is 3.3 volts, have been connected to the 3.3 volts. The second pin is red, have been connected to the ground. And then this is SDA, the orange have been connected to A4. And SCL, the pin is connected to A5 using yellow wire. This is ground. The ground have been connected to ground of Arduino at this point. VCC is 5 volts using a white pen have been connected here to 5 volts. And then we have SDA, the gray have been connected to, to this SDA pen labeled here using this wire SDA. And SCL is the last one have been connected to the last pen here in Arduino board. One is for other fruit. HTU21DF and the other is the liquid crystal underscore I2C. I will provide you the link. You will download each separately as zip and follow this step for each. You click on sketch, include library, add dot zip library. Once you click, you will point it to where you have saved that zip file. For example, if this was your zip file, you will browse and select it and click open. Do this for both zip files. After that, close your Arduino, meaning click close here and you see here I have three instances of this. Close them all one by one, make sure it's closed and then reopen it. Now this is the code include wire.h is part of Arduino IDE. You don't need to download anything. It's already included. This is the one that you have just downloaded. This is the class name. And from this class, we create an instance of that class as an object and we call it HTU, including this line. So the job of this line is to create this object, which we will use later. Then this is the beginning of and this is the liquid crystal.h using the include. So this is part of the library that you have downloaded. In the next line, we create the instance of this class. 
and we call it LCD. It, it needs three parameters here. The first parameter is the address, the I2C address of the device of your display, and the 16 is number of character. Two is two line. If you have uh, 20 character and four lines, uh, four lines, you type here 20 and then make this four. Now to get this address, you need to run I square C. So copy and paste the, uh, the I square C in a blank sketch. Upload it to your Arduino. Once it is uploaded, make sure the temperature sensor is disconnected, especially these two wires that are for I square C. Disconnect them because it will read the address for this. So we are making sure to get the address for this. Now I'm opening the serial monitor. You can click on tools, serial monitor, or press Control shift m Here, this will read the address. The address is 0x3f. And I've already written it because I need it continuously in many tutorials. And if I connect the wire for this, you will see that we will be reading one more I square C address. You see 0x3f, uh, you see 0x40. This is the address for this module. Now let's close this and close the there. Type it here, 0x refers to the hex value because we are referring the type and this is the actual 3f is the address. After this, inside the setup, we use lcd.begin job of this one is to initialize the LCD, LCD backlight will initialize the backlight and then HTU that's for HTU uh, temperature dot begin this checks this means not if it is not initialized then we print this on the screen and then in the next line which we go LCD dot set cursor to line zero uh, character zero line one on this line and we say sensor missing and while one this while true one is true while one while this is true stay here forever so the program will not proceed further from this line else if that is not true which means the sensor is working then we print this on the screen let me and and then on the next line we print demo demo if i reset by pressing the reset button on the arduino you will see that it will print that with the demo. This text is coming from there. And then we give the user two seconds to read it and we go to the loop. This portion will run once inside the setup from here up to this end. And then the loop is uh, the part of the code that will run continuously. First, we clear the screen from the previous value, which was there, and then this is a function LCD which needs all these parameters. This is the opening and this is the closing. You see when I put that, you see the square around it. And it has all these parameters with comma. The first one refers to line zero, character zero. This is, the first one is character zero, line zero. It goes up to this point. And then we print the text, the Celsius. After that, we print the temperature, which we go to character 10. If you see here, uh, if you count it, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. At 10 of line 0 and this line, we, we use a get HTU. Inside the quotation, we put capital C. This is getting the temperature, which is this. And then D means a degree will be printed. So for the Kelvin, we don't need, but for the Celsius, we want to press print that degree symbol, which look nice. So from here to here is just on one line to display all these value. You just pass this parameter. It will make it very easy, which I'm going to explain it next. Then the same way from here to here, we'll do the Fahrenheit, which is in the next line. You see it here. And we print the degree symbol. And then we wait five seconds. After that, we print this Kelvin. Now let's just wait for this. Celsius Fahrenheit after this this is five seconds and then we go to the line zero character zero print Kelvin and then this time we print capital uh, if it is Kelvin we print K and in the next line line zero character zero line one we print humidity we put H get HTU with H 
you just need to put h it will convert it to it will it will give you the h and then the percent is referring to this percent so we can print it and we wait five seconds and the loop continuously doing the same thing now two functions need to be explained get htu and then lcd display let me show you the get htu it has a return type float which means a number with a, def with a decimal point and this kh or uh, c that you pass when arrives here it, it it has a name called type we have a new variable called value which will return this has not initialized we read the temperature here and the temperature is stored in this variable called temp we read the humidity we store it in this variable relative humidity and then we check if the type this type is capital F what we do is we get the temperature which is here multiply it by this uh, 9 over 5 plus 32 so this becomes Fahrenheit when we store it into value or assign it to value if that is K the type here we get the temperature in Celsius at 273.15 and this becomes Kelvin when we store it here if it is H we need humidity then we get uh, relative humidity and pass it to this value so the value now has relative humidity else means if none of this is true then it means Celsius so then the actual temperature is assigned to this value and we use return dot value we'll get one of those according to what we request here K H um, C or F Fahrenheit and this function display will get all those values to make it simple you see we are printing this is the temperature character that is temperature row from here those value that you pass the title will be printed on this and the second one will print the value and after that we check if it is D the degree should be displayed print this car 223 this is printing that degree symbol and if it is percent we print the percent here for the Kelvin for the Kelvin we print K now let me demonstrate I'm blowing hot air from this so you will hear the buzz but I'm gonna keep it away from the screen now it's 96 degrees or 205 degrees Fahrenheit very hot almost going to burn but I just removed the heater 88 degrees and 190 degrees Fahrenheit if I hold it my body temperature will bring it down let's see the humidity already increased 44 degrees I would like to sincerely thank the following people who have supported me via Patreon Thank you for watching. This was how to display the temperature from HTU to NT1 DF temperature sensor and uh, relative humidity sensor on the LCD. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up. If you have comment or question, please post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. Please consider subscribing so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.